Hello, and welcome to another TA Instruments Tech Tip. In this video, we'll show you how to use a flow ramp test to measure thixotropy. Many shear thinning materials are also thixotropic, meaning their viscosity decreases over time at a constant shear rate. At rest, thixotropic materials will rebuild their structure, a characteristic that is necessary for many applications in coatings, personal care, and foods. To test thixotropy, we can perform a set of flow ramps. First, we will ramp shear stress from zero to 100 pascals in a linear mode over a duration of one minute. Then we will ramp the stress back down to zero over the same duration. Since we're testing a time-dependent effect, it's important that we use the same time duration for both steps. If the sample has no time-dependent properties, the two curves will overlay meaning no time is needed for the viscosity to rebuild when the shear rate is decreased. However, if there is any thixotropy, the second curve will lag behind the first curve as the sample rebuilds its viscosity, creating a hysteresis. The bigger the lag between the up and down ramp, the more thixotropic the material. The area between the two curves can then be reported as a thixotropic index. In this TA Tech Tip, we learned how to use a flow ramp test to measure the thixotropy of a sample. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tech tips from TA Instruments. Thank you for your interest.